Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having an awesome day. We are a little short on gold, uh, but I think we are ready to depart on our next quest. We've got some stuff here that is fairly useful. So let's see. I think now that we've kind of like rearranged some of this stuff, we want to have Tilly in the back and... Um, just kind of looking at these. I don't think any of these are really that big of a deal. In fact, uh, we're going to rename her. This is going to be Mrs. Wells. This is going to be the wife because, uh, no, excuse me. I said rename Mrs. Wells. There we go. We're going to rename you. Uh, and then we've got a, a leper here. He's actually a pretty solid melee attacker. Uh, we'll bring him along. He'll do good damage. Has bad accuracy, but he hits like a freight train. So that'll be useful. Um, actually, no, no, no. I've changed my mind. We're going to bring Paynell, our shield breaker, and Dismiss right here. And these two will be able to like bounce back and forth in the front line and deal a ton of damage, which will be great. And then I think we'll probably bring Vernon as our third slot character. He can do a little bit of off healing. I think this will be good. So there's all of that here. Uh, we want to do we definitely want to do a short level because we don't have to bring, bring as many provisions and we're really short on cash right now. So medium, medium, medium. Yeah, our options are basically the wield. And I'm trying to remember what types of enemies are there. It's a lot of beasts and eldritch enemies, I think. So probably want to do runes. We probably want to do this one uh, because um, Painel does a lot of blight damage, as does Vernon. So I think this is our, our best bet. So let's do this one. Uh, complete 100% of rune battles in the runes. And we're going to bring a stack of torches. We'll bring eight food, two keys, two shovels, two holy water. Let's actually make it 12 food. And I think that's that's what we're going to bring. Can we sell? No, we can't because it's a free item that comes from having the plague doctor. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, but beforehand, we need to equip some trinkets. So we're going to do minus 10 stress on our healer. And also, do you have stun skills? No, I do not have the the blinding gas, which is actually a great skill. But uh, we will put the stun skill on our healer as well because she does have a stun attack so i think that'll be good okay let's embark away we go and i think we actually have a pretty decent little uh party here so that's good the fiends must be driven back and what better place to begin than the seat of our noble All right. line so 100 percent of room battles i think Let's go to this room first. Get some stuff. I like free stuff. Free stuff is good. Ah! Trap. Okay. That's fine. Such missteps are the exception. Pop a torch. And in we go. And there is nothing here. Nothing at all. So we'll head back. And then we'll do this one. And then we'll be done backtracking. go head down this way hopefully this is a room battle because if neither one of these were room battles then i'm gonna feel like an idiot okay all right we got the jump on him that's lovely you are gonna go with a duelist advance and smack this guy and get him he's dead so that's lovely and now you have the repost ability what this does is basically allows him to counter attack so that's super good 
Uh, we'll go with a Noxious Blast, I think, on... I mean... What's the difference in damage here? Five to eight, and then two bleed, or two damage and five bleed. I think that's our better bet. Let's put that on you. And then you can jump forward and smack this guy. And it didn't quite do enough damage to finish him off, but we can hit you with a dazzling light, stun him, hopefully. Yep. And then this guy's basically dead. He's gonna get one attack and then he's toast. And oh, actually we got the repost. look at that. So that was good. So now you are going to go for an open vein. And dead from the repost. Nice. Okay, this thing. I'm trying to remember. I think if you use holy water on it, it gives you stuff. Yep. My healer has a bit more stress than I would like. Carelessness will find no clemency. Which is unfortunate. Hey, we actually found a combat room. Okay. Unfortunately, we did not get the jump on them. And the stress is piling up on my healer, which is no good. Uh, we're going to go for a pistol shot on you. Oh, we got the crit. That's lovely. So now we got to deal with the acolyte next. Uh, let's go for a... That's the stun skill, right? Yep, let's go for a stun on the acolyte. That means less stress damage coming in, so that's good. Uh, you give me a plague grenade and hit the acolyte with that. Hopefully deal some blight damage. And I think then we're going to go with that. And that did not knock you down as far as I was hoping. Okay, well... That's fine. Point blank shot. Boom. That's a big, nasty, powerful attack. Go with the plague grenade again. Stack up a bit more of that damage. So Acolyte's now toast. And then I think here you maybe stall a little bit and try and get off a decent heal. Because right now we're essentially safe. There we go. So let's go with a divine comfort. Heal everybody up a little bit. And now I think we can go... Oh, look at that. We actually got the... The, the healer happened to go first. I was ready to call it a day. It worked out. All right, take all. I feel like you should be in the front because it seems like Dismas generally goes first. We get some stuff. And now we go back. Hopefully our last room battle is not in the very last room. It is certainly possible, though. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Because then we will have explored all of this. All right, that's a shovel. Pop a torch. Uh, we're going to ignore the books, I think. Yeah, we're going to ignore the books. Okay, we did not get the jump on them, but we could go with a point-blank shot and basically kill this guy, like, guaranteed. But I think I want to go with an open... Oh, I can't... E actually, either way. Yeah, we'll go with a point-blank shot. He's dead. This guy is the one that needs to die. So, plague grenade, hit him. And then you... That will not kill him, but it will come real close. Because he's still got blight damage coming in, and then what we could do is stun him. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. So now he's stunned. The blight will finish him off, and he will not actually be able to do anything. So this worked out. Bump in the night. No big deal. Okay, uh, let's go for a... 
I think we're gonna go for a heal on you. Heal a tiny little bit of your health. You can go for a duelist advance right there. He's dead. You can heal yourself. And then you can finish this guy off. I'm loving the combo of the Highwayman and the, the Shield Breaker. I gotta admit, it's a pretty sweet combo. I'm liking it a lot. Oh, we got some scouting. That's good. So, more curios along the way. We got the books. We're going to ignore the books for the moment. Because the, the odds of something bad happening are just a little bit too high for my taste. Hmm, 25 whole gold. Wow, we're rich. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So, these guys, we are going to go for a stun on you. These ones deal disease. These ones deal blight damage. So, we're actually more worried about the ones in the front. Hit you with a point-blank shot. Okay. Uh, let's go for a... Incision on this dude. This one's stunned, so I'm not like super worried about him. Okay, a little bit of blight. That's fine. Uh, you. Can you not hit that? Yeah, there we go. I guess I just didn't click on Pierce. There we go. Disease dealing one is dead. He actually goes first, which is great. I'm blighted but I can just use Battlefield Medicine to cure myself and get rid of the Blight. And then you can smack him with a Duelist Advance. That also gives me Repost, and you can finish him off with the Judgment. Beautiful. And we got a Plague Doctor Trinket. And actually, that was the last... That was the last one. Wow. Okay. Uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Since that was the last one, let's go here. We'll put the Witch's Vial onto our Plague Doctor. Open up some inventory space. And I got this sarcophagus. And I believe if you use a shovel on it? Nope. I guess it's holy water. No? Really? What do you use on the sarcophagus? Anti-venom? Okay. We'll just open it. <laughs> I guess. Whatever. And then we'll uh, end the quest before we take any more stress damage or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, the shovels and the, the, the provision items are really not worth anything. They're worth like five gold. So it's all good. But that got us about 7,000 gold, which is pretty solid. And then we got some other stuff with this as well. So that worked out. Hippocratic. Why did you have to get Hippocratic? That would have been great on Mrs. Wells. Ah, uh, oh well. It's fine. In time, you will know the tragic Okay, so that's all good. Feelings. Uh, Donger over here is no longer super, super stressed out. So that's good. We can afford to upgrade her. Please tell me we have another Vestal? No, we've got a lot of Antiquarians. But no more Vestals. Let's look at our Antiquarians real quick and see what ones we have. Because all of the... I mean, these two are identical. I think this is where I'd want to go, is with the Nervous Stab. Because I think that's a better overall attack. So we will take... Was it this one? Yeah, we'll take the top one. We'll take you. Really need another healer that isn't Mrs. Wells. Because you really, like, it is generally not very advisable to go on a mission without a healer. Uh, campfires are unlock, uh, are, the survivalist unlocks campfire skills. We'll get into these uh, later when it becomes more relevant. I think that's all of them. That's all the places. 
Yeah, I think that's good. All right, so then the sanitarium can be used for a couple different things. If you have any characters that have a disease, which do stick around forever, you can remove those at the sanitarium for a relatively low cost. It's not super expensive. Or if you have something you want to lock in, like say I want to lock in Luminous, I can spend a ton of money to do that and keep that trait forever. Otherwise, they'll kind of rotate through once your list fills up. Or you can also get rid of unwanted traits, which is also quite useful. Do I have anyone, though, that has traits that I really don't want? I feel like... I feel like these are all fine. Infirm is kind of annoying, but I think it's okay. Okay, so we made it through. We're fine. Um, next party is probably going to be... Oh, runes have leveled up. So now we actually have access to the Cove and the Warrens as well, which are both good. Cove, you'll see a lot of, like, fish people. Warrens, you'll see... Pigmen, essentially. I do like most of this. Uh, I mean, the only th the only one I'm concerned about is Mrs. Wells with the stress. So I suppose what we could do is go back. And we do have one character right now. Well, technically two characters. Technically two classes right now that are capable of stress healing. Houndmasters can stress heal, but it's not a very big stress heal at all. It's pretty minimal. Uh, so instead, maybe what we'll do is go guild we can take reynold i guess is going to be the way to go and we can unlock inspiring cry this is in my opinion an amazingly good skill so we'll do that and then you are going to take inspiring cry this will be very 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 useful and that will help us manage our stress on Mrs. Wells a little bit, I think. And then we can also bring her. And let's go to the guild with her. Oh, wait. Why are you still in the Abbey? I guess you were not... Has achieved a state of emptiness and refuses to stop meditating. Okay, well, she's just going to keep meditating, I guess. So I guess we'll take our other antiquarian along with us on the next mission so let's go ah i think it's fine we'll uh we'll sort our team out and everything like that later uh unequip all trinkets so we can re distribute them when we're ready to start the next one and i think i know it's a little bit of a shorter episode but there's going to be plenty of longer episodes in this series so it'll balance itself out guys i think that is going to do it for this one if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.